Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy Valentine's Day. I hope you're having a wonderful day and today is going to be a really quick video. I just wanted to share with you this really cute Valentine Barbie that I added to my collection this year and this is um, one that was made back in 1977 and I really wanted to get more Valentine Barbies this year but I am trying so hard <laughs> to stick with a budget each, each month so I only let myself get one and I'll get more next year hopefully. So here's a look at her box. Um, I really love these older 90s Barbies. I think they're really cute but this just says special edition Valentine Barbie has a Mattel logo there on the bottom and then the back is really cute it just has two little cutout Valentines that you can use it says Barbie wants to share these Valentines with you so whether or not you have a real Valentine in your life always know that Barbie will always be your Valentine no matter what so there she is I just wanted to show you her box real quickly I got her off eBay used she was really cheap maybe 10 bucks or so and her box is damaged so i'm going to be taking her out anyway so i'll be right back i'll take her out and we can just take a closer look all right so she comes with these one of these old like limited warranty little things that you used to be able to mail away for so hers is a two-year limited warranty and then her shoes and her brush were packaged separately in this little bag the brush is one of the older styles that shell design which i love these brushes are so cute. And then her shoes are just little pink, you know, basic pumps, basic Barbie pumps. Really cute. And she also comes with this really cute little box of chocolates, which I didn't even see in the box because they were like, um, they had become separated from whatever was tying them in. So this was like a really cute little surprise. Just a little plastic box of chocolates. Okay, so here she is out of the box. She is so super cute. So she's on the twist and turn body with the 90 degree angles, as you can see. And she has uh, just like a pink and purple color scheme for Valentine's Day. So taking a closer look at her dress, she has this really cute sleeveless dress. The top part here where the bodice is, is like a netted material. And it comes down into the satiny style dress with a sweetheart neckline here. And then it flares down into this cute little skirt that poofs out. So the print has purple, red, and silver hearts. And then she has a really cute little purple bow here on the back. And then the back of her dress just is Velcroed, but the design is all the way around. And then there's a little clasp up here for that section of the dress. Just since we're back here, her hair is beautiful. It's brown and it's straight and it's that nice, really soft Kanekalon style hair. So she, I mean, look at that box hair right out of the box. They just don't make them like they used to anymore. I always say that, but seriously, she looks fantastic right out of the box from being in there for over 20 years, basically. Okay, so looking at her accessories, she has this little um, purple ribbon that matches the belt and that goes all the way around and it, it's attached with elastic in the back so you can take it on and off if you want. She also has little pink earrings and a little pink ring. So really nice. This is what the shoes look like on her. Really nice, beautiful. She has the bend and click knees, of course. And then here's a look at her beautiful face. I'm pretty sure this is the Christie face mold. Really sweet and cute. Now her eyes are brown, but they have pink accents. And that little accent color is pink and just beautiful and a really good tip for how to um, tell Christie's apart if you find some at the flea market or at the thrift, the thrift store that don't have clothes on and you're not sure who's who, um, you can look at the number of eyelashes that they have on the top and the bottom and then the different design of the reflection spots. So there's usually a dot and then like a line and pa based on what direction they're in, you, it really helps to to um, identify Christy dolls that way. Same with Barbie as well. But anyway, yeah, she has the Christy face mold. She has beautiful, beautiful face paint. Um, I do have to just wash her just because she's been in the box for a little while. But her lips are pink, but they're really natural, like a nice natural pink color. And then her bangs, of course, are really cute. Really 90s style, but I just can't get over this hair. It's so nice and soft and shiny. There's no gel, there's no glue. Just awesome. I really love these dolls, you guys. 
I'm sad I only got one, but hoping to definitely add more in the years to come. So just for fun, I made a little shelf in my little doll room with just some of the cute pink dolls for Valentine's Day. So I just wanted to show you guys really quick. Just fun, you know? So there she is, our beautiful Valentine Barbie from 1997. I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick review of her. And um, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Again, whether you're selling, celebrating it with someone you love or your kids or your parents or your pets or just with yourself. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video.